welcome back to a brand new video PJ codes now in this video we're going to implement fuzzy search and what I mean by fuzzy search is being able to type in a restaurant name or a tag and have it the UI update as you type instead of having to manually press a button this is a great UX enhancer and basically will help the user speed up their search and uh, in turn improve the user's experience overall okay uh, and if you aren't familiar with this app if you aren't familiar with uh, what we built definitely check out uh, the previous video the link is in the bio definitely check it out so you have a good understanding of what's going on here um, and also just to give you a recap on what we did last time is we have uh, we have a search feature here where you know you can search by a restaurant name or tag or you can even likewise sort alphabetically by uh, restaurant name so you have C E all the way down to T right and then likewise you can also filter by tag so like for example American or pizza or Mexican okay and also in our search we have uh, a substring um, search as well so if I wanted to search for Mexican you know it's like it looks for a certain substring as well okay so you don't have to type out the full name all right so what well let's begin by implementing the fuzzy search okay yeah so first things first now let's go to our code and uh, just to kind of go over the code really quick again uh, we have this uh, get data function that basically uh, makes a fetch request and it invokes these functions now our, just to go over these quickly uh, generate view is basically uh, this function here that basically is responsible for generating the different views based on whether it receives JSON or it receives HTML elements. Okay, so we, we are basically reusing this function over and over again. Uh, our search restaurants function right now basically is applied to uh, the search button here. Uh, we are basically adding it to that button and it triggers when button is pressed. Sort is exactly for that, just sort the sort alphabetically and our filter type is an on change uh, for the select dropdown. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create an event listener uh, on key up for this event uh, for this input here. So what we're gonna do is we're sort of gonna jack the functionality of our search restaurants. Uh, it pretty much more or less is the same functionality. We're just gonna change a few things up. So above that, and we're gonna take we're gonna take this function out entirely along with the button. Okay, so let's go. Let's put this function here. Let's call it fuzzy search for rest for for restaurant. Okay, so let's do uh, cons fuzzy search. Okay, that well, that's gonna include uh, uh, equal a function that can take in no parameters yet. Okay, and then we're gonna do const. Uh, you know what? Let's just jack this guy here. This is our uh, input. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna, gonna also take uh, this guy here, our search term, because we need we need a variable to uh, store our search term in. Okay, so we're gonna do search rest search rest dot add event listener, and we're gonna put key up. Okay, we're gonna put a key up uh, event listener on that, and we're gonna call we're gonna do a callback function uh, that takes in an event. Okay. And let's put our semicolon here because we want good semantics. All right, so let's do search term, uh, search term, okay, equals event dot target dot value, okay, dot value. Okay, and now we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna uh, clear our search results. We're gonna clear the previous search results, okay. So again, we're gonna take in our uh, we're going to listen in for our uh, uh, whatever it typed input. We're going to store that inside search term. And we want to basically, after that, clear out the previous results. This way we're, uh, for every, uh, you know, new search, we're starting, you know, from a clean slate. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have to loop over our cards wrapper to basically generate uh, a, new, uh, a new UI every time we do a search. Okay. Where are we? Right here. Okay, and so basically we're gonna have to loop over this. So let's do cards. Uh, actually, you know what we can do is we can just use this guy here. Same exact thing, okay? And feel free to pause if you need to, but over here what we're gonna do is, um, actually, you know what? We're not gonna change anything. We're just gonna invoke our generate view uh, function here, right outside cards wrapper. 
uh, and this should be fine. Now let's just invoke our fuzzy search up where it needs to be. We'll, we'll take out search restaurants, but let's just invoke it right here. Okay, let's hit save. Let's go back and now let's try to search for how to do something. Emily, there we go. See that, see how that worked? And now we'll back search, oh yeah, backspace and we're back to square one. So now let's search for Kang. Uh, okay, so we got that. Let's search for all the pizzas. Okay, so now we have pizza. So there we go. We have our fuzzy search working. Let's do Asian. We have three Asian. American should be four. Okay, so we have our fuzzy search working for that as well. And just to, uh, you know, let's test that some more. And let's do mission. See, uh, basically what we're doing is we're searching for a substring inside it. So as we type, you know, we're, we're getting our um, fuzzy search to work. Okay, so now we don't really need this search button at all. Uh, matter of fact, we don't even need the search restaurants function at all. We're gonna get rid of this whole thing here. Okay, let's get rid of this guy. Okay, and we're gonna fix that in our HTML as well. Let's get rid of um, the search button. Okay, let's get rid of it. And let's wait for it to reset. And there we go. Now we don't even need, so, so we can just do Emily, we can do, I'm in the mood for pizza. Okay, we got that. And then we have, let's say American. If I wanna search for a particular American, I can do a superiority burger. And there we go. And now I can, you know, add an event listener on the button itself. And I can, um, you know, we can add like a, a button here to go to this particular restaurant's page. We're, we're gonna get to that in uh, future videos, but I just wanted to show you guys how to implement a fuzzy search, uh, same exact functionality, but just to kind of go over uh, the logic of how we're doing the filtering, uh, we're, use, we're just comparing the data name of the the restaurant. So like of each card, we're, we're taking the data name of uh, uh, the data, like either data name or data type, which is here. So either name or type, and we're just saying that, hey, if our data name or our data type includes whatever we type in, which is search term in here, whatever we type in, basically um, basically store those results in uh, our search results array here, okay? And then um, we're doing that while looping over our cards wrapper. And basically whatever search results we have, whatever we have pushed in, we're just inserting that as a uh, uh, each, a collection of HTML elements inside our generate view. And then our generate view uh, function gets invoked. And here we're basically, uh, what we're doing is we're, we're, we go directly to this guy because you know our data that's coming in is not uh, is not JSON in this particular case. So you know we're just basically appending them to our card wrapper. Uh, and you know, uh, we're just setting them to uh, you know show which is display initial and uh, like i said and so that's for one search right so then so say after searching for pizza we, we search for like mexican right so this function gets invoked again and basically we we come here and then we we just set our previous results equal to empty okay so our search results are empty now and it basically empties out the old results and basically just does the whole thing all over again every time this function is involved okay so that's fuzzy search for you guys and uh in our next video we're gonna uh we're gonna put a re uh, reset button here and we'll add some css uh and you know i'll we'll we'll, we'll do some more uh, we'll do some additional functionality or we can even work on the the favorites tab where we can uh, work with the local storage and uh set our selected favorites uh and persist them even after we uh say reload the page uh, okay, and then we'll, we can also work on some CSS and, uh, you know, use some uh, some deeper uh, Flexbox, uh, some more Flexbox techniques to make this you know, spaz it up a little bit. We can probably add some more functionality too. Okay, and uh, but that's for this one, guys, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.